Um, I will say that that I've probably come from my mouth that I didn't think TJ Edwards was going to be able to be a nickel this year. I thought that Nicobe Dean would probably come and take that job, and he still might, or like Dean and Kaiser White. Um, but he's making it very difficult. TJ Edwards is having a really good camp from what we understand. Um, if you go back and look at what they got when they signed him a couple of years ago as an undrafted free agent, he was a downhill linebacker, not the greatest athlete, good intelligence, thought that he would help and run defense. He has tried to improve his athleticism. I mean, he shed a little bit of weight. He's worked on it. But from what, from my understanding, Adam, where he is really advanced in the intellectual side of the game. And that's why when you see him, he knows where to be. He gets in front of a lot of balls. He gets his hands on balls. He's just very smart and understands where he's supposed to be at all times. And we already know he plays the run very well. Uh, I'm just, I was told he's, 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 he's make, he's having a good camp, which makes it difficult to take him off the field. He actually had a great camp. And not only is he yeah. a good camp, this thing that shocked me is mm -hmm. that his coverage, his coverage area, I think you talked about this last year. You'd heard that he got, you know, he got maybe, I don't know if you say faster. I can't remember exactly what you said, but you'd said in the off season, you'd heard he improved in coverage or apparently He's been one of the best coverage linebackers in training camp. This is something I never would have believed. 